Hello, I'm John Kanalopoulos, an eye surgeon based in Athens, Greece, and New York City, New York, USA. It is my pleasure to review with you in these next few minutes uh, the essence of this paper published in Clinical Ophthalmology. We've had long experience in utilizing cross-linking in keratoconus, uh, and uh, we've also combined uh, topography-guided partial PRK and cross-linking uh, in keratoconus as well. We call it the Athens Protocol, and we've published several studies based on our experience with this technique. We have found anecdotally in the past that this technique not only stabilizes the cornea and reduces cornea irregularity, but it appears to significantly reduce scarring within the cornea. We assume this is from the way cross-linking manipulates keratocyte behavior and its ability to minimize extra uh, irregular uh, collagen deposition within the cornea uh, following collagen cross-linking. Uh, I'll show you a few examples of the basic principles on this paper in the pictures to follow. And here is directly our clinical case. This is severe, very long-term trauma. You can see the scarring in the central cornea, dropping the vision to best corrected 2100. You can see here the severe flattening just under the pupil. And on OCT, Holly Bethelm has tried to correct that. The topo-guided treatment plan with the uh, Wavelight EX500. Here's the Wavelight refractive suite and the Avidro KXL device. We will use this for the cross-linking the Athens Protocol and Review, PTK, Topo Guided, PRK, Minomycin C, and then cross-linking 10 milliwatts for 10 minutes. And here a short video, um, the PTK on the uh, Wavelight EX500, uh, 50 microns, um, 6.5 millimeter diameter. You can see here how the laser will remove the epithelium. The concept here is to use the epithelium as a masking agent, this very regular cornea. Um, this is an example um, uh, of looking now at the treatment and how um, with this device the PRK is performed, mitomycin, and now the cross-linking is performed uh, with the Avidro KXL device as you can see here. This is the eye several months later. You can see how the scar has been normalized. The Pentacam images are much more normal as far as the pupil in here. Left is before, middle is after, and, and right is the difference. OCT images show a significant normalization. The eye now is best corrected 2030. Very impressive result. So, uh, in essence, here, what is the advantage of using cross linking uh, and topography guided PRK? I think that uh, the pivotal way that in this case we saw a significant advantage, not only in the cornea normalization. Uh, but as well as the uh, density of the uh, uh, stromal scarring present uh, at and around the previous uh, cornea scar. I think that uh, uh, the topography guided PRK enables us to very eloquently uh, reduce uh, the uh, index of significant irregularity that persists in the central cornea, the part of the cornea that people use to visualize. And this um, uh, was reiterated in the drastic improvement of best spectral corrective visual acuity. The patient uh, went on with a, uh, a plus three contact lens to see almost 2030. Very impressive result. Uh, this was a productive 55-year-old uh, gentleman that went on from being almost uh, difficult to get around his house and outside on his own to obtaining a driver's license several uh, weeks after his procedure. Um, the second element here is how is cross-linking helping um, in this approach? And it is uh, our impression that um, cross-linking helps, number one, uh, in lieu of uh, uh, enabling us to treat with PRK a cornea that's very thinned from previous scarring. So by uh, structurally reinforcing the cornea and being able to um, treat with PRK a cornea that's, that's thin. But I think a second element of cross-linking is the fact that um, it does have a direct effect on uh, the way uh, stromal keratocytes behave postoperatively and reduces significantly the postoperative uh, scarring, something that we did see in uh, these very impressive clinical examples. So we're introducing a new potential application of uh, collagen cross-linking and partial topography guided PRK, uh, the treatment of significant cornea scarring that um, in uh, 
Uh, other ways will be treated with some type of keratoplasty technique, uh, either lamellar or uh, penetrating keratoplasty. And I beg to differ that um, uh, employing the Athens protocol for such extreme cases may um, uh, be a step in avoiding these procedures and uh, returning significant uh, visual rehabilitation. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.